decide to do it. I'm making a Doki Doki Electric Club <laughs> Let's Play. It's, it's not even a Let's Play, it's literally like I'm going to die in the inside. I'm uh, only 13 and I'm playing this. It's like literally the minimum age they want you to be playing this at. Oh my lord, is it terrifying. Yes, if you were wondering, I have played this before. But I didn't even make it but like halfway through the game and I only saw like a couple creepy things. So I'm going to pretty much do the whole entire game while recording. So we're just going to hop in. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we're good children. Good. <laughs> I like to slip up every time I read, guys, so this is, this is more of like one of those weird things for me. Hey, maybe I'll get better at reading out loud. Maybe I'll get better at reading out loud. That's what I meant to say. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it is kind of, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up, <laughs> waiting up. Rip. But if she goes chasing after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> okay. I overslip again. If I caught you this time. I'm not making a girl voice. I'm not going to do that. If I was, it'd be like, Hey, guys! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh. You said it like you're not going to see <laughs> This is the cringiest thing I've ever done. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean to me. When people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean or whatever. Even if I wanted to. I suck at reading. But you guys are still gonna watch me either way. Whatever you say, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily routine. Their daily, <laughs> daily commute. I cannot say that word. By the way, Timmy, have you decided on joining a club yet? Uh, club I like to mess up the words a lot, but I'm not going to point that out anymore. You'll know. A club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Told me would join a club this year. Did I? Crap. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So he likes to worry a little too much about me. And I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That's me. Except for I try my best in school. Talking about how I'm worried about you. Talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. This is literally like. When somebody says this, you know, like, there's something wrong. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. I know you're happy right now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a me in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Trust me, right? Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna grow up to be, guys. <laughs> alright, alright. I'll look at a few a few clubs and make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I don't know. Why do you? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself... I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate and s exaggerate everything inside of her head. School days and ordinary is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. 
So he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? <laughs> Sayori must have come into the classroom while spacing out. I space out a lot in real life, guys. So this guy's basically just me. Into a game. But amplified. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I said you're sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Now, if the whole classroom's empty like that, I'm not just gonna be sitting there, like, unless I accidentally fall asleep, but that never happens. It's like one of those things that really happens in anime, or to, like, the really weird kids. That's, like, something I only see, like, one out of a million. Honestly, you're even worse than me <laughs> sometimes, I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Yo, what? <laughs> well, did you come to, see, come to my club? Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Man, this dude's savage. You just don't care. Sayori is vice president of the not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And this is uh, why you don't count your eggs before they hatch. If you've ever heard that old saying, I really hope you have. And Natsuki made me cupcakes and everything. Or made... Yeah, I don't know what you can say. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to plan all this out. I thought out a long sigh. <laughs> it's like, jeez. I love this microphone. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? He sold his soul for the cupcake. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Exactly. I've already played through the whole entire intro, that's why I'm just commenting a little bit over this. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for a third year class well for third year classes and activities. Sayori full of energy swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. And glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. This is obviously the intelligent one here. Seriously you brought a boy. Yeah, I can see most girls being like that. <laughs> ah, Tammy, what a surprise. She's evil. If you guys don't know this, she's evil. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I've seen some crap, even though I've only played about half the game. Something's up with her. All words escape me in this, <laughs> escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. This is literally what every guy is like whenever they walk into a classroom and there's only like four or five girls and him. And this just turned into your average romance anime. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, yeah. He's backing off, he's just like, what the frick? I just walked inside here and she's already being grouchy. Natsuki. <laughs> The girl with the sour, sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure, figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made me cupcakes, according to Sayori. We have a detective over here. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Exactly. Yuri is best girl, alright? Always. Always. Even though she kinda gets creepy at the end, she's still best girl. 
say where he's right behind her. Don't say things like that. Yuri appears comparatively more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. She totally, I totally know this person. I just booted up the game. It's great to see you again, Timmy. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Exactly. She's also a little bit nuts. We figured that out. <laughs> so, having her smile at me is just so genuinely disposable. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Jimmy. We made you room. Before you left the table. So, you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cookies. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Yeah, that's understandable, actually. How about I make some tea as well? Yes, make sure it's sweet tea, alright? I don't like that plain crap. No ice? Mm -mm. Not my kind of... Not my kind of tea. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sir Yuri mentioned, it's widened so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Yuri. I'll say Yuri. <laughs> my bad. Asuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabs a rapid tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, take a seat next to Sayori. Well, that's kind of understandable. Like, if you imagine walking to like a room of random friends, and then pretty much you only got one friend you know in there, it would be a little bit awkward to just go sit by somebody you, know, you don't know much about. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tree in hand. Okay, are you ready? Uh... Oh, they look like crap. That's, that's probably what I'd be like. Nasuki lifts the foil off the tray to a boy. dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. I like dogs, okay? I don't like cats. I'm offended. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> Sorry, he grabs one first, so, okay, well, my finger slipped. It's delicious! Sarah talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. I hardly ever do that, I usually just like, oh, this side's fluffy. No. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking in glances in my direction. Oh yeah, checking me out, boys. I'm going in. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite now. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Hmm. I wonder. Pretty dang sure. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... I... I heard this somewhere before. Pretty much in every single scene. <laughs> more secondary anime, like, you know, made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did, so I already said. Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you technically did make them for a new member, which, which is me. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. He returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Frick, if I could have, like, sweet tea every single day when I went to class, that'd be awesome. I go to homeschool now, but I used to go to public school. That would've been freaking sweet. Just walk in there. Heck, now I can just go, like, grab a cup and do it on my fridge and just do homeschool. <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yes, I love books. This is my kind of game. Not gonna lie. 
literally I have like a whole collection of books. <laughs> we need like a counter every time they've said that. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh snap! I'll call you in the end. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. What's up with everybody not liking reading these days, man? I love reading. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? I had no clue. I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I had practically was dragged to by saying. Well, I haven't joined the clubs yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I suck at friggin' reading. Reading out loud, anyways. You gotta understand, like, I, I pretty much read on my own in my head 99% of the time. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make sure the club is fun and exciting for everybody. For everyone. I can't see... See what I mean. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of the debate club last year? 3, 2, 1, debate! Ha ha ha, well you know. Oh ho ho ho. Oh ho, I, I don't know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. If it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Well, this would be me, kind of. Yeah, I'd, I'd totally start like a book club. But I'm more into comic books, which isn't like actual book books, but I also read actual books. Like, you know what I mean, like chapter books. I, I read a lot of those, but I also read like a lot of comics. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way, or it's because I murdered them all. I mean, wait, wait, nothing. I've been nothing. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we can graduate. Graduate, yeah, graduate. I totally meant to say that. Right, everybody? Yeah! <laughs> we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Yippee! Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find just these, well, to just find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so, so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, tell me, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh, I like to read. I like to read about Lincoln Park, and I also like to. <laughs> no. Considering how little I've read these past few three years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Just say you uh, say you read manga. Exactly. That's my boy. I mutter, <laughs> muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head slow, suddenly pricks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking. After seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. <gasps> I really like meme books. You know, I like the meme bible. I really like the dyke memes. And I like it. I, I read a whole book about making my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. 
I'm actually writing my own book right now, and it is kind of like a fantasy world. It's pretty interesting. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes, oh, I'm clearly passionate about her reading. Yeah, this is how I am about comic books. When I start getting into, like, all the freaking history, I'm like, Oh my god, Tim Drake was once Robin, and now he's not Robin, and then another person became Batman's sidekick, and oh my lord. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that she finds herself comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological ele uh, deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Cause that's completely normal. Uh, I read a horror book once. Wow. You did. Nice job. I just believe I desperately grasp something I can relate to at that minimum level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't expect it that here. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. I hate horror. I'd rather go play some visual novels. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Something tells me she likes manga. I'm just thinking that. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? No. I'll give you that idea. You let him left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Looks like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give that back. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. So you <laughs> say where he slides up behind Natsuki and pats her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! That's good. You write your own poems. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Nasuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nasuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Confidence? Yeah, that's totally what I meant to say, guys. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable showing up to share hers. She's just like... Crawling in my skin. I guess it's the same for you. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I'm not here, everyone. You know, I'm just gonna skip this, guys, real quick. Basically, what ends up happening is they end up saying we can do poems. That's what this is building up to. Boom! It's time to write a poem! Well, this is where the game starts to progress. Pick words do you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen to whoever likes your poem the most. Now this comes across as a dating game. It makes you think automatically that you're trying to get like whatever girl you like the most. But it's not that. It's completely the opposite, really. As you can see, there's no Monica. You have to admit, that's a little weird, huh? A little, a little strange. Climax. Okay, we're gonna just... We're going for Yuri, and we're going for Sayori. So we're gonna try and do them the most. Natsuki, I like her. 
And I want to figure out what her story is eventually, but I want to go through with these two. Almost. Yeah, depression! Joy! Grief! Holy crap, she also like a lot of sad stuff, jeez. Secretive. Marshmallow. Not really marshmallows. Tears. Determination. Resistance. Imagination. Memories. Incongruent. Nightgown. Daydream. Headphones. Fucking like make one of those stupid kid videos. <laughs> Little like five year old videos. Disoriented. Unrestrained. Love. Uncontrollable. Excitement. Anger. Intellectual. Oh! Now that's how you make a sweet ball, guys. Now, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, and the next episode we'll be showing off our first poem. So, if you guys like this video and you want to see more Doki Doki Literature Club, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Adios! Fusion Timmy out. You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you wanna cry, but you never do. Sugar.